Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rochelle and I do budgeting videos here on YouTube. So today, <laughs> we're gonna be doing my closeout video, um, which I did not do last month, but we'll do it this month. And we're gonna be pulling a lot of money out of these envelopes. So let's get started, why don't we? So we'll start with this binder. And um, we're going to be pulling money out of, not school, not Christmas, JB Day. So um, at the end of the school, the last day of school, um, which was last week on Friday, the teachers, the teacher wanted us to, um, so she said there was like a lot of um, summer babies um, in her class. So she said if we wanted to bring an activity for the class to celebrate their birthday we can so what me and my daughter did was we bought um the tie-dye um kit and we bought like 14 t-shirts for the kids and one for the teacher so that's what she brought in to do as an activity for like as a birthday party for her so that was done and so i have to pull out a hundred dollars out of j bird jb day So we'll do 20, 40, 60, 81. And we'll put this here so we can see if maybe we can condense along the way. Um, so she now has $1,010. All right, my birthday is fine. We're not pulling nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh. The last thing here is my debt avalanche. So I'm going to be putting this onto my, um, the only credit card that I have a balance on because I took money from there to put into my um, private student loan as like one lump payment. So I'm paying for it each month, um, $200, but I wanted to pay it off faster. So that's where this debt avalanche money is going. So... This is 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2. So 272, right? 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 70. Yeah. So we'll put that over here. Oh. So, oh, okay, let's pull the money out first and then we'll count everything. All right, so these envelopes is definitely going to be emptied out, some of them, I think. Um, so, car expenses, I didn't go and take money out for yet, um, but I'm supposed to take $182 out of here. So... Well, let's go, let's see. I do have to take money out of here, but we'll do that last because it's a bit complicated because I didn't go and take money out of the bank because we have a thousand um, placeholder in there. But clothing is gonna be emptied out because I bought like um, clothing for our vacation, like swimsuits and other things. So clothing is empty now and I'm pulling out 1, 2, 300, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. So 332 is coming out of clothing. Oh, I hate pulling out of money out of my envelopes, but that is what it's here for, so it's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so now fitness. Um, I'm pulling out $37 um, because I did buy like protein um, bars and drinks and stuff so anyways $37 is coming out of here and I don't have change so we'll split the 50 and we'll get two 20s and a 10 so now we can pull out 37 
So we'll do 20, 30, 35, and 40. And then we'll take, we'll just get $3 from the pile here. So one, two, and three. So we'll put this back in this pile. All right, so now fitness has 50, 100, 120, 140, 41, 42, 43, 143. And I think I'm going to leave this like this um, instead of condensing it because I might need to buy more protein stuff soon. So we'll leave that. Um, gifts, I'm pulling out $25. So here is a 20 and a 5. So gifts now has 40 Health, we are pulling out $173 um, because I I don't know if I mentioned, but you guys, I am seeing a nutritionist just to help me um, with the whole fitness journey. Um, so $173 for my first visit. So we'll do $50, $100. 20, 40, 60, 80. So this is 180. So hmm. we'll just round it up to 175. So this is 180 here. And then I'll take back a $5 bill. So now health has 100 5 10 15 16 so 116 is left in health and that's done holidays we are not pulling anything um, but let's see if we can um, condense but nope <laughs> we have 45 in holidays Um, nurse, we're not pulling anything, but we'll see if we can condense. So we have 100, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 196. So I think we'll just do, we'll switch these. 20 40 45 50 for a $50 bill and I'm happy with this so 50 100 150 170 190 195 196 tech we're not pulling from but what do we have here 65 I'm okay with this for now so we'll leave it as is and travel we are pulling the whole thing so um, we are doing a family trip to Riviera Maya um, we'll be there for six days and five nights so this is going for that um, expense so from here we have 1,000, 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 600, 650, um, 70, 90, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 795, 800. So 2,800 is coming out of travel. But just put my placeholders away. Okay, and then for my car expense, so it it's hard to pull out of here because I didn't take money out of the bank. 
So I still have this 1000 placeholder. So what I'm gonna do is um, change this to a 500 placeholder right here. So I was supposed to have 1,025 out of here, right? Um, but since I'm pulling out $182, we should now have 843 left over. So um, what I'm gonna do instead of going to get money out of the bank, I'll just use this money and then um, whatever money was supposed to come out of this envelope, I'll just pull it from the bank like when I pay for my um, card. So we're supposed to have 843. So 500 here, six, seven, 800, and then 20, 40. And I don't have change, so mm, we'll just round up. So we'll get rid of this five also. So instead of pulling out 182 we'll pull out 185 so we should have 840 left over it just saves a trip um from the bank you know i don't like to go back and forth to the bank and it seems like every time i go to the bank there's so many people at the bank i don't know why but <laughs> there's always a long line so car expense now has five, six, seven, eight hundred, twenty, forty. Eight hundred forty. So these envelopes are all done. So we'll go back to the other binder and just to see if we have um, anything we can um, condense and also to count how much is left over so school is still 500 Christmas let's see if we can condense so we have um, 190 so we'll switch these 50s for 100 so 150 70 90 Um, JB Day, we'll see what she has. She has 1,010, so nothing to do here. My birthday, let's see. So I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60. So 260, so we'll get rid of 100, 20, 40, 60, 81. And then we'll get a hundred dollar bill. So two sixty. Next is Janae's envelope. We'll see if she needs some condensing. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred here. And then that's it. So she has 1,000, 2,000, 600, 20, 35. So 2,635. On my envelope, we'll see if we need condensing. So, as 20, 30, 35, 40. So, um, we'll just take, um, a $20 bill for these so we have 1,500 600 650 670 690 91 um, my savings challenge let's see so we can exchange a hundred so 20 40 60 70 80 90 so all right so we'll switch out the 50 220 20s and the 10 for a hundred so 50 70 90 100 
And then we now have 140. And that's about everything we can condense. Um, so I'll put the totals um, on the screen of how much money we now have on my sinking funds. So we now have this amount. And then next month we'll compare um, to see how much we do for um, July. So uh, let's just count how much money is in here that's going to the bank. So, this is all the money that we pulled out of our envelopes. So, we've got 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So this is 1,000 right here. Um, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. So this is now 1,400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. So 1,426 dollars is going to the bank and going to my credit card and plus the 185 that I'm pulling out of my car um fund which is in the bank so that is it you guys thank you guys for joining me in another video <laughs> look at all this money <sighs> i don't know about you guys but it, it really makes me sad when i have to pull money out of my envelopes but again that is what they are there for um so instead of using credit cards and not having money to pay it back and having to pay it like monthly i have this money to put in as a lump payment so that i don't even accrue any interest on my credit card yes i do use a credit card but i pay it off at the end of the month so i never have a balance on it so it's basically like using a debit card except i get the perks of getting points and um so like right now i'm using my american express as you guys probably know um, and so I have already enough um, points to use for like a free trip. Like I can get um, like a weekend trip for me and my daughter for free as of right now. So I'm saving that points for another time when we decide to go on vacation, just the two of us. Um, which maybe next year we want to go on another cruise. So yeah. Anyways. That is it, you guys. Thank you guys for joining me in another video. I'm sorry for all the rambling. But anyway, stay safe. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.